What a drop off in temperature we've had over the weekend and into this morning. Just Friday, we were here talking about how the temperature was going to rise up to almost 80 degrees in quite a few areas in Montana, but this morning, different story. We see temperatures in Great Falls and Helena sitting in the 20s, even Butte down to 10 up along the High Line in the teens as well. Eastern Montana sitting in the 20s as well. But as we take a look at your radar and your watches and warnings, see quite a few colors across the state right now. Not always a good thing, though it could be visually appealing, but we see some shower activity over close to Great Falls there moving off the divide showers kind of banding together this morning a little bit south of Lewistown but this morning we have high wind warning up in the northwest corner of the state I do anticipate that will be extended just a tad bit due to some pressure gradient winds it should ramp up as we move along throughout the next 24 to 48 hours we have a winter storm watch winter storm warning winter weather advisory winter weather warning and over here to the eastern side of the state that's a blizzard warning there in the red color, including Glendive, Miles City. But as we take a look across the country, we see some rain shower activity in the southeast, moving up towards Missouri, down south through Mississippi. But the main story this week in the global synoptic scale is going to be a large scale trough digging down into the southeast, negatively tilted trough, going to produce some significant severe weather risk throughout the southeast. But for the western United States, going to push a lot of dry air out toward the western United States, really ramping up that fire danger. But for us here in Montana and areas to the northeast, we should see quite a bit of snowfall possible throughout the week. As we take a look at today, we'll see a few spotty snow showers like you just saw on the radar continue throughout central to northern portions of the state. But down in the southwestern corner of the state, if you'll watch that closely here as we move along through your future track, here comes this snowfall moving in up through the southwestern corner of the state. It's going to move through Helena around noon air, uh, noon time rather up towards Great Falls. Should be in Great Falls by the afternoon hours. If you'll watch it move here about 5.30 or 6 p.m., we really start to see some snow showers, gradient winds, pressure gradient winds rather increase uh, in front of the front moving into Great Falls there. But as we move along through tonight into tomorrow morning, we really see that snowfall start to kind of band together, especially in southwestern Montana, areas like Dillon, Bozeman, over to Livingston, up through West Yellowstone. As we move through your Tuesday, we start to see that snowfall really increase along central areas of Montana throughout the central areas all the way to the eastern side of Montana. Glasgow and Jordan up through Haver, probably going to take a little bit longer to get up through the high line there, but uh, by Tuesday evening it will be through. But take a look at your moisture really quickly as we move through over the rest of the week into next week. You'll see some moisture moving out of the Pacific. Sunday, just a tad bit could make it into central Montana. Quite a bit of snowfall possible on the divide, however. But as we move along through Monday, you get a break. And then on Tuesday, we see another large swath of moisture move up to the divide. Not much will probably make it across, though, however, a little bit in southwestern Montana possible down in the Dillon community, Andy. But today, could see some snow in Helen and Great Falls. Glasgow, probably going to see quite a bit of sun. Uh, we've got to remind ourselves that we absolutely need all the moisture we can get. So Any day is a great day when you're perpendicular to the ground, Andy.